Hello everyone, welcome to round three. Um, we're keeping this hand. It's pretty solid. It's got all of our synergy effects. Are we running yeah. the, these out first as lands? Um, we could draw a mountain there, don't we? Okay, so we'll run out floodplain first. Yeah, we have two tap lands no matter what, so right. hopefully we can draw a mountain. If we draw either mountain or island, um, either of those can become a cycler. I think we're playing so, this as an actual land, right? Yeah. Oh, I've set up a draw, a stop on my draw step. I don't need that. We'll play that. Uh, I think we get a planes with our flood plane. I agree. Alright, so our opponent's on white black. I'm gonna wait till after we draw just in case yep. we hit a land. Oh. Uh, are we running an Astral Shroud slide first, or Lightning Rift first? Mm. I think we do Lightning Rift just in case he cycles. I think we do a slide to save mana. Hmm. Okay, I can see that. So, do you want to fetch an island with this then instead? Yeah, island. Hit all of our colors here. So we have island... Um, um, because you can always cycle in response to playing with Rift anyway. Sure. So. That makes sense. And we can play Rift next turn, and then if we draw like a mountain too, we get to cycle Spark Sprite and blast something. <laughs> so far, so good. Uh, we might end up playing this Lonely Sandbar as a land for the double blue for Morphling. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, Lightning Rift Cycle Blast this guy? Yeah. Oh wait, we can't. Yeah, we can. Okay, so this goes Lightning Rift. Then we go Cycle this. Zap your guy. Uh, I'll always yield to this, but then I'm going to say no. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go Zap. Oh, and then we draw another cycle source. That's pretty good. Plus Morphling is coming down. Yeah, if I we... If we black, I want to have triple island if, if possible. Yeah. Alright, well... I can't... Oh, I guess I have to target that. That's what I have to do. Mm -hmm. The thing that can target, I have to target something. I can pay one to zap him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we want to have our triple blue then, which means we have to hit our uh, our final basic island, because we used up the lonely sandbar. I think we got to play this as a land then. Yeah. And we're just going to pass, and we can cycle spark spray to zap something. Mm -hmm. Again, ideally, we just want to hit our third... Island. If we we're gonna go with triple blue, I feel like we shouldn't have cycled the lonely sandbar. Mm. Do you wanna zap him or just wait? Let's just wait. Okay. We have Stoke Champion to pump, we can kill stuff and Well there you go. Stoke Champion everyone. We might not have the opportunity to get to triple blue, so if he plays like uh if he taps Night Stalker. Yeah. If he, um, swordsing. Do we cycle sure. in response? Keep our guy alive? Zap him? Yeah. I like that. Response. Zap you? Exile our guy? And I would auto yield to that, but it's going to be a new instance of Stoke Champion, so. Yeah. And use that. Okay. Interesting that he did it during our main phase two and not our end step. Yeah. Means he might have something to kill it off here. Probably a Dark Knight Star. Which one? I, Dark Knight I got the guess. Hmm. 
Alright. Well, goodbye, Stoke Champion. Yeah. Actually, if we draw any cycle, we can sign more like. Well, I guess we run out another Stroke Champion. Or do you want to yeah. just slam Morphling this turn? Mm. I could. Do we risk it or not? That is the question. Mm, let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. And I suppose we should play a land too. Yeah, that way we're at least feigning that we have. Uh, kind of making him think, it's oh, great, he can cycle. Oh. Two. What? So it has a minus one plus one. Yeah. So it can dodge like burn and stuff like that. Not that he's gonna be playing burn, his out for it would probably be like expunge or something like that, but sure. if he doesn't have an out this turn, he's pretty screwed. Cause I can, at the very least, give it Shroud by just... Oh, Chainer's Edict. I um, can't give it Shroud. Do I want to... Swords it? No. We'll oh, just... No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Goodbye. Yeah. See ya. Not much I could do about it. Except for not play him, but... Very big swords. Okay, so our opponent's mm -hmm. got a lot of good blue white... Or black white removal, so... Mm -hmm. So, basically, we just want to draw cyclers from here. Yep. Alright, I'm going to run out the Stoke Champion. It's going to get Sorged, but... Yeah. I think we still just want it out there. Yeah. Actually, we'll probably Flashback Chainer's Edict. Okay, well then we're getting rid of the Flashback of Chainer's Edict. I mean, still, either way, I think it's fine for us. Oh, we'll flashback Chainer's Edict and have swords up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to repel our own guy, maybe? No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because we just want to draw cyclers and kill stuff and get back in control of our destiny. Yeah. Our destiny! Any cycler basically will win the game. And we're doing more than that. Alright, what have we got? Um, okay, let's see, we can repel his, no, I don't like repelling either of those guys, really. We can swords his Night Stalker to prevent damage. Sure. I think we do that, because... This, it's like, feels so bad, because any cycler kills a two, but it's just not taking damage. Right. The entire premise here is just... Taking damage right now would just continue to suck a lot, and if we leave it alive, he's got us on a third, three turn clock instead of a six turn clock. Fiction. Death's Grasp. Death's Grasp against. Against. Because that just kills us. And he takes a Death's Grasp. Mm -hmm. He also has a Tundra. That's pretty solid for him. Choking tethers. Well, it's a cycler. Do you want to do it now and draw some action? Yeah, okay. So we'll go cycle, kill your guy. So kill your guy. Don't bounce it, but I have to target it. Tap it. <laughs> Don't bounce. No bouncy. No bouncy. No. He is sword cycling his own guy. Sure, shoot. Or cycling it, yeah. Shoot you instead? Don't Yeah, not doing that one. I clicked no. Uh, we will do this. So laggy. Yeah, it's really laggy right now. You get that effect. And we'll do this. 
one to enter a card. And play a land. Still have repel up, so that's at least something. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of our seventeen lands. So fourteen of our cards are or yeah. Fourteen of the cards in our deck are non lands and six are lands. Yes. And we have that's to true. We have to play around Death's Grasp from here on out, yeah. is the unfortunate part. Nice, right, playing some new one twos and two ones. And yep. Don't do it. I think we're going to repel the Vanellis Trapper. Or no, repel that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll repel that. And draw a Cycler. Okay, it's not a Cycler. Uh, do we play it? Yeah. Kill his trapper off. And then it'll get swords, because we know one of the four cards in his hand is swords. It's fine. Getting some more. Yeah. Helps take us right back out of uh, Death's Grasp range, because yeah, he right I'm now is. lose the time, unfortunately. You think that's how we're going to lose this match? Yeah, it's taking forever. It is taking a long time. I have you got an F6 on his turn. I'm not a huge fan of this, but... I can't do Oh! That. Boy! Uh... Grace? <laughs> uh, we're fucked. That no, thing... It's just a fortune. Right, okay. it's just Scoop a... It up. Yeah. Scoop it up. Save time. It's just a 4-4 that says you're fucked. <laughs> we play blue. The blue is for factor fiction. Analysis. So the blue is his card draw. Hmm. What do we want? Do we want like circular logic versus? I was just gonna say that. I think we want circular. If we bring in circular logic, do we want Aquamiba too? To be mm. able to do it at instant speed or at for one mana? I don't think so. Okay, so just circular logic. Take out what nomad? Nomad's kind of weak. Mm -hmm. Other option would be choking tethers, repel. I like all the other cards, really. Okay, let's take. Or we could take out harrier. Mm -hmm. Would you like harrier? Our favorite or thing to take out gust cloak harrier. Yeah, I think we take out gust cloak harrier. Yeah. Harrier just looks pretty good. Yep, well, we had we expected that our opponent's decks would move up and... Yay, please. <laughs> uh, we expected that our opponent's decks would move up in uh, power level, so... Mm -hmm. They had to get here somehow. This deck is so full of, like, one twos, two ones, three twos. Right, he's got a lot of little guys. He's got a pretty solid removal suite. Two and twos. Lightning Rift is just awesome against him. Yeah, Lightning Rift is excellent if we can keep drawing ways to use it. Goblin Trenches would be insane if we ever see it, which we haven't seen it yet. Yeah, not yet. I just don't understand how that can ever happen. Where you can go through it. It's uh, fine. Yeah, we keep this. Or you can go through an entire tournament on Moto and never pursue one of your cards in a 40 card deck. It happens. Uh, Floodplane? Yeah. Floodplane probably gets this island in this case, I'd think. We probably use Forgotten Cave for... as a red mana next turn. A red land. Yep. Cycling a bear. I think we're playing this. Mm -hmm. We don't need to crack the floodplain just yet. But yeah, something to remember is the triple blue for Morphling is going to be a key. Oh, yeah. Is going to be a fairly key element. Oh, Spark okay. Spring turns that to a 1 1. I'm gonna crack this for an island. Play our planes. So, island. Planes. 
Astral Slide. And then just. The good thing about black, white, blue is you really can't have much against enchantments. Right. The Steel of Cleansing is, is out, basically. Kind of like our last opponent's double seal of cleansing. Mm -hmm. Yep. So next turn, gro land Kenai even. Yep, pretty good. Well, I guess we just sit here. Yeah, uh, turn choking tethers. Do you want to? On his turn, right? On his turn, we can tap and exile something. Yeah, okay, so... Well, Choking Tether's on his turn. Unfortunately, we miss a land drop, but... I think it's fine. So, we'll Choking Tether's the Harrier, and, and then Swords the Phantom Nomad? Swords, uh, tap something and then oh, exile something. That's what you meant. Duh. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. It doesn't really... <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm just not thinking it right. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Always yield to Astral Slide. Yep. Okay. Wasn't a land, anyways. Mm -hmm. Our Phantom No Hitbox is Phantom. Very good point. And then we can always cycle to keep his guys from actually ever attacking. Yeah. Land? Counts? Uh, Phantom Nomad, do we play this as a regular land, I guess? I think so. Yeah, I think we do. I don't necessarily like it, but I think we do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, our Phantom Nomad blocks his, and then we can exile it, bring it back with two counters. So. <laughs> if he has Night Stalker here, that'd be pretty bad. Factor Fiction G. Scrivener against. Or do you want to throw another land on here? <sighs> Four lands. He's already yeah. got all his mana, so I think it's Scrivener. Scrivener against. We would not be surprised if he didn't take the four lands. I mean... He took the Scrivener. Okay. Which gets him back okay. Factor Fiction. So, sure. I figured that's probably the main reason why we do Scrivener against. Because otherwise you're just giving him an extra card. Yeah. Do we cycle not to take, take two? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I figured we should take two here. Alright. <clears throat> well, so far, so. meh. We get the counter. Excuse me, counter the factor fiction at least. Yeah, we do. So that'll be nice. Deep analysis. Or do that. Mm. I think we just hold up the counter. Well, we can deep analysis. I think he's got a factor fiction on the end step of our turn. Right. So we're gonna basic on the end step of our next turn. You mean? Yeah. So we want deep analysis. I'd be surprised if he did a main step. So swing with this maybe. I don't think so. Okay, so we'll we'll deep analysis then because yeah. we we'll will because he'll play something else or no he'll factor fiction on our turn. So now we can play this. Ready? So let's just hold up uh, swords for something ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. You might do it now. Okay, he's swordsing <laughs> our guy. Awkward, but nothing worse than that. Um, I have to sort something. I don't think so. Not yet. I'm gonna hold it because we know he has crazy things like Magister of Worth. Magister, yeah. Uh, sure, select the target. No. No, I will not give your guy vigilance. I think we play this as an actual land because we need our triple blue for the um, for morphling. Feels really bad. 
I think next turn we're going to so we're going to counter his spell when he plays it yes. and then we're going to cycle and get rid of one of his guys and swords another So we can cycle, bounce this, and swords this, so that way he can never get. Nomad. Or swords the nomad. Yeah, that's one. That's the right thing. To swords. <sighs> okay. So cycle. No to you. Okay, well we can at least get some power on the field. Mm -hmm. We have King and uh, Sophie Pope. Right, so we can drop two guys next turn. It's definitely an option. Sure, that's not going to bounce. <laughs> I'm not giving you back anything. I refuse. Guess he's gotta keep doing it, it's like maybe we even this quick. Right. Nope. Okay. F sixing and pressing no. Said F six. Uh flame tongue combo? Yeah, that's a good one. And then we'll hold up the cycler. So we'll kill this off. So oh. I don't know. We'll cycle right now. Kill off his other guy before combat. How are you killing it? Oh, we're combat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't like this. Or we can play this. I think yeah, we just actually just switch. wait. I think we just wait. That way we can, in response to like a removal, get our combat. Because if he had expunged there, we'd just get blown out. If he has right. Night Stalker, he'd take two. Taking two is fine right now. We're still at ten. We got life to spare. Yeah. So next turn we can double cycle when that plays around our full spell. And we don't take the yeah. low damage I I think it's okay. Mystic Zealot. Well, since okay. his only I think no. You <laughs> went to end step. Because I'm not a stop on his main phase. Um do I cycle now still? Well, yeah, no, this is a 3-5. So. Yeah. So if I cycle, I have to also... C I don't think we cycle right now. I think, I think you do. Uh, well, it doesn't matter between now and our main... End of main. No, it does, because you could have solar blasted it, too. Right, but he doesn't come back till our end step. So it doesn't matter between now and the end of our second main. As long as we make that decision by this point, he'll come mm -hmm. back at our end step. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to cycle. I could cycle... Oh, I don't have double red for cycling yeah. Solar Blast. Okay, so we cycle this, then we play Solar Blast on his guy, kill his guy when it comes back, or when our Flame Tongue Kabu comes back. Sure. He's holding... He's representing Circle of like Dickens. Yeah. So use this. And then... Draw a card. And cast this. If he has circular logic, it really sucks for us, but. Okay, this guy's gonna die. Maybe. Well, it's going to die. Maybe. It's dead. Possibly. It's dead! <laughs> it's dead, I dead. say. Any number of things in. I think on his main okay. end... No, main, yeah. We can cycle main. Or we cycle right now, right? Or now. Sure. Doesn't really matter. It plays around nothing, but... I think you should have done it end of main because it gives him options on what to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, that'll help. Uh, but we are on kind of a time crunch here. Yeah, we are on a time crunch, I agree. We're going to lose to time, probably. That's the unfortunate part, because Moto's lagging like a bitch. 
Oh, hi, Piana. Killing that. Still gonna kill the two fire. Yeah. Come on, Otto. Stop lagging and using my time. Okay. Um, do we swing into Piana? I don't think so. I think we just run out Terra's Faithful. Uh -huh. And then we get to cycle. Oh, not double bullet. We have deep analysis. We're not drawing any. We're not cycling right now. What does cycling right this second do? It could be deep analysis. Oh! Deep analysis in our yard. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're right. Well, we can play guy. We can play guy. Yeah. Play guy. And then cycle and then kill that stupid thing. Cycle it right now? Yeah. Now this one only loses to, like, Ex Magister Worth. Yeah. Which, if he has it, I guess he has I feel like if he had Magister Worth, he would have used it, but we'll see. He might just play it right now. Yep, Magister Worth. Oh, of course. So good. <laughs> so good. So much skill. Uh, yeah, whatever. I guess it's condemnation. We all our guys are dead. <laughs> this card is so broken in this format. Yep. Okay, well, we still have deep analysis. Right, we have deep analysis land for years, not just days, for years. <laughs> okay, so I, should, I can play double stoic champion. Sure. And maybe we'll go runner, runner, cycle, 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 cycle. Well, the problem is if you cycle Magister. I don't. Just kills. I don't cycle, the, or I don't bounce the Magister. Honestly, I just target. Right, yeah, I just target something and say no. Our goal is to draw cycler into cycler into cycler into cycler. <laughs> I.e., to go f infinite with cycle. I wonder if he tapped like, the register if he was holding it that whole time. I don't know. Oh, Death's Grasp for free. Three. Alright, alright, we're dead. Yes. Well, we weren't going running, running with our cyclers, anyways. <laughs> alright, well, that was round. Ow. Magister of Worth. Magister of Worth. That's the reason why we lose round three. See you guys in round four.